In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at where you can find the new controls for editing your titles and graphics after the latest Premiere Pro updated version 25, because the essential graphics is no longer there. Um, so I have this project here and I have a text. Now, in window, you can go and as you can see here, there's essential sound effect controls, which are still visible as you can see here but there is no more an option to choose essential graphics. Instead, we now have the option properties. So if that one isn't checked off, you can click it and then properties window will appear. As you can see here, I have it here. And this uh, entire setup might look different with you, um, depending on the workspace you're using. I have my own workspace. Um, but if you have the property selected, if I click it here, you can see there is nothing visible and it says that you have to select the clip in the timeline to view the properties. So when I click this text, I can see the properties here and you can add everything, um, adjust everything here. You can also double click this text and you get more options. Um, and apart from that, you can double click this one also to go directly to the properties window. Um, so yeah, you have all these options here. And if you want to change your text, you just double click the text uh, where it's situated. And then you get the options to adjust your text appearance, uh, font, size, and all that. So that's the new, after the update 25 version, a uh, new way to edit your titles and graphics using the properties window, no longer the essential graphics. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video, be sure to press the thumbs up button. If you did, press that subscribe button to see more of my videos. I have new ones going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.